Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. No. All right. Uh, oh, okay. oh, 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 Dave Kelso's on. I didn't even realize. Kelso, what's up? I didn't even realize. Real, is this you, Dave? Hi, all. Kermit D. Frog here, and this is the Masonic agenda of Donnie to program your soul. Oh, Sponsored God. by the Illuminati. Yeah, it's me. What's up? Hey, I, I didn't realize that was you. <laughs> your, your, oh, your number okay. came up as zero zero one two three four five six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of like what what Skype does when you make an outbound Skype call. It just you know it does that. Oh, usually it shows up on our boards as one 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 one. But <laughs> interesting enough. <laughs> So, uh, welcome to the show. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm calling in through Skype. Hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been, um, you know, doing some catch-up on your shows lately, as we discussed earlier, and a lot of the focus has been, like, you know, dealing with ego and letting go of ego and value and all experience and shifting to positive timelines and so on and so forth. Um my friend Katerina Edwards has been successfully doing a lot of that in her life. Um, she's uh, 19, almost 20. Uh, she's, I guess, what some people would call a crystal kid, if you want to use that label. But she is absolutely amazing. In less than a year, she's done a complete 180 on her paradigm. She is a big, huge, long story. But needless to say... Um, She's just been been rocking hard with the paradigm shift, and I would like to bring her on. I would like to link her um, into this and bring her on, and if it's okay with you, I, I would like her to share some of her wisdom and experience and all that in this because I'd like to put a, a positive spin on this positive timeline stuff and, um, mm -hmm. you know, get her on to say, hey, you know, positive timelines are possible, and I'm proof. Look what I've done. Sure. Huh? Well, yeah, let's, do, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's take a quick break here. We're at 10.45 in the p.m. Let's take a quick break here. Uh, we'll uh, come back at the top of the hour, uh, about five minutes from the top of the hour, and then we'll just finish it off uh, the last hour nonstop. We'll bring her on, and, uh, and we'll all just kind of have an open roundtable. Does that sound okay to everybody? Cool. Sounds good to me. All right. We'll be back Fantastic. here at 13 Degrees of Insanity right here on FreedomizerRadio.com. If you'd like to uh, give us a call in and join the last hour roundtable, 347-324-3704. Uh, of course, we have Cherie and Chris Geo from True Frequency Radio Network uh, with me. Of course, Chris and Cherie do their show every Friday and Saturday night uh, starting, I think, they start at 6 o'clock going all the way till 9 Central Time. Uh, of course, uh, you can catch them on Fridays and Saturday nights. And then, of course, you can catch my show, uh, my special edition show of Truth Frequency, special edition of 32 Degrees uh, on Saturday nights. So I actually will have a show this weekend where I am talking about positive timelines. I'm going to have Sandra Sabatini uh, from the Pythagoras Conference joining me this weekend. Uh, we'll be talking about the Pythagoras Conference, uh, the, uh, how it's going to affect humanity. Uh, this conference is going to take place in October. Uh, some very, very interesting uh, speakers that will be taking uh, that will be joining that. Of course, Bruce Agnew uh, and uh, my brother will be part of. Laura Eisenhower uh, will be part of that, uh, and uh, you also can win tickets 
on the show as well. So tune in for that. And also, if you want to buy tickets, you can always buy tickets at www.ursuadams.com. Uh, all you have to do is type in the prom- uh, hit the link, hit the promotional code, and hit it done. It takes 100 bucks off the price of the ticket. We'll be back here on freedomizerradio.com right here on 32 Degrees of Insanity. Wow, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. 1055 is the PM 2012 In some parts of the world, I'm 43 years old. Well, I have been in some parts of the world for some time now, but in New York, or actually in Colorado, I'm 43. But here in Reno, I'm still 42. So, not old yet. Haven't gotten there. But if I was in Minnesota, I'd already be old. But see, I've been back and forth to California and so many times I've flown around the world. I, I'm probably still only 39 with all the, the traveling I've done over my years. And actually, I did go across the international date line a few times. I'm a polyglot. So really, I might have another day until my birthday if we kind of do everything back and forth. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back, 32 Degrees of Insanity. You're listening to us on FreedomizerRadio.com. Again, if you guys want to give a call in, 347-324-3704. Again, that's 347-324-3704. Tonight's been kind of a plethora of information. We have been all kinds of different subjects. I want to thank everybody for joining us in the FreedomizerRadio.com chat room tonight. It's great to see you all uh, here tonight and sticking around. Also, remember... On Saturday night, if you were did not hear, if you're just tuning in, um, I will be doing my special edition of 32 Degrees uh, on Truth Frequency Radio. dot com. I think, excuse me, uh, Truth Frequency Radio. dot com, and I will be having Sandra Sabatini of the Pythagoras Conference uh, with me as well, uh, and we'll be uh, talking all about the Pythagoras Conference that's going to be taking place in October uh, in. Tennessee, uh, Tennessee or Kentucky, I have to relook at I think it's Tennessee. Uh, and we'll, be, we'll have her on. So we'll be talking all about the guests that she's going to be bringing in. Mark Yoping, uh, my brother Gary Voss will be there uh, as well, uh, talking about alternative energy, his Green Aid project and such. Uh, and Gary, we're tr- I'm trying to get things together for Gary to get on the show. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about Tesla technology. Uh, I, Laura Magd- Magdalene Eisenhower. Uh, lined up as well. Uh, Laura is the great, great granddaughter of Dwight D. Eisenhower. So stick around. She'll be coming in the next couple weeks as well uh, here on 32 Degrees of Insanity. So tonight um, I have uh, Chris and Cherie of Truth Frequencies. They've been uh, generously uh, spending some time with me on the air tonight. Uh, I have uh, some other guests as well. We have Kevin from Minnesota, Dave Kelso. Uh, uh, let's see, Jay Larson. Looks like Jay Larson is on. I'm sorry, Jay. I know you've been kind of holding there for a while. Uh, We've got Sister Sarah there, and, of course, uh, uh, let's see, who else do we have? Uh, I think that's it for right now, but uh, we have uh, several other listeners listening in. And also, if you want to listen in, and just, uh, you know, if you're out and about and you've got your mobile telephone, you can always call in to listen to us as well, 347-324-3704. And I saw some chatter in the chat room asking about the music that I pick. Uh, the last song that you heard was called Steely Man, and that was uh, uh, written by my very close friend, Brock Butler, of the band called Perpetual Groove. And if you guys have not had a chance to uh, listen to Perpetual Groove, they're a band out of Atlanta, Georgia. I actually met Brock, uh, gosh, we're working on six years now since we met. Uh, we met on a, a cruise called Jam Cruise. And so Brock has been kind of a uh, intimate part of the message and it's also been a very uh, – uh, the, uh, the Disco Biscuits as well. Uh, we'll be playing some of their stuff uh, as well. And we're going to try to incorporate some independent music into 32 Degrees, not only on the special edition, but also uh, here as well uh, on the uh, Freedomizer Radio Network as well, so we can kind of bring out some of those independent uh, – and, of course, beautiful design, trading voices we led with as well. So I'm going to bring everybody back here. Uh, of course, we'll bring a Cherie. Welcome back, Sheree. Uh, Sister Thank Sarah, you, looks like. Yeah, Sister Sarah is here. Uh, Kevin, uh, looks like Dave Kelso. And, of course, uh, Jay Larson. Uh, now, before we go into this, Hello, I know, uh, 
as we happy uh, birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You look just kidding. But happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, before we yes. get to the top of the hour, um, I said that we were going to do some sort of a, a roundtable here, but uh, Dave wanted yeah, to bring Yeah, I got I got to bring Katarina Edwards in. Yep, that's what I wanted to. I, I wanted to go into that, and I wanted to, uh, she wants to give a testimonial of because uh, we've, we've been kind of talking throughout the last couple hours. We've been kind of all over the board, but kind of the main underlying message of the last couple hours <clears> is how not only that you can uh, you're responsible for your own soul and your own awakening and saving of your own self. But also, you're responsible for your own consciousness and your enlightenment. And so, uh, here, here we go. We'll bring uh, Kelso's uh, friend on here. Welcome to the show. Um, I didn't bring her on yet. I got to do that. And by the way, okay. um, I'm an I'm an independent musician. Use all of my stuff that you want. And I'm gonna add Katarina Edwards in. Here we go. All right. Let's bring Katarina Edwards to the show. Provided her phone. Is- we are ringing. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded. Oh, what about voice message? It always works that way. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, why, why don't you do me a favor? Do me a favor. Why don't you give her a? I'll, I'll take. I'll take you off mic right now. See if you can just Skype me when you have her on. And bring it back on. We'll just we'll just start the round table. All that sounds. Okay, um, cool. That can work. Because sometimes I. Sometimes I have to call her three times in order for it to ring on her phone once because she's in Hawaii and the signal just for maybe Fukushima is screwing with it. I have no idea. All right. Why, why don't you just, just Skype me if, when you get her on the air? All right, guys. So, you know, Excuse me, Donnie. With all yeah, due respect, I have to uh, point out a contradiction with what you've been saying about all night. Today okay. is not your birthday. Today is the recognition of the day of your birth. Oh, okay. But that? happy so birthday today recognition is. day. <laughs> today is, yeah. That's that's what it's realizes well, that you know my birthday is not until tomorrow. Well, until <laughs> actually, uh, well, actually, in some areas of the world, in some areas of the world, because I was everybody on my Facebook is so generous uh, today. I had to see happy birthdays all over my board today. But, you know, in, in say, the U.K. or in Australia, I was already, I was already, you know, already, you know, already had my birthday. Already had my birthday. And, uh, and now, of course, in, in, uh, um, uh, we're now past the midnight hour in the East Coast, so, of course, my birthday took place. And now we're past the uh, midnight hour in uh, Colorado, and we're approaching the midnight hour out here on the West Coast. So... I'm the last one to get my birthday. Everybody else got my birthday before me. <laughs> uh, that's a contradiction of words. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so so we have a round table here. We have uh, Cherie. Uh, we have Kevin. We have uh, Sister Sarah. What do you guys want to talk about this last hour? It is open forum. Whatever you want, whatever we want to talk about, let's talk about it. <laughs> you alert? <laughs> I'm here. I just. Who owns the land? Go first. Who owns the whoever land? Wants to, whoever wants to go, Sister Sarah, you got the mic. Go take it. Go, go ahead. Who owns the land? I was thinking about uh, on Pooch show tonight. They were talking about. Uh, he was talking a bit about his. Uh, his on who's show? Proof. Proof negative. Oh, proofs. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Proof. Yeah. So he was. He just, <laughs> And so anyway, long story short, it, it was about real estate. That's sort of maybe one of the big topics. But I think, it, you know, basically it moves so quickly, you know, most people don't, they have a piece of paper, basically, you know, the way it goes is you have a piece of paper, and because of, I don't know, what's, what's that word again, derivatives or <laughs> the, 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 big, uh, the big gamble in the uh, sky, whatever, whatever it is, all those guys doing all that, it's moving so quickly or it, there's, there is opportunity because of the way it's set up to to just always be shifty, shifting it around. And so th- that's where it all gets, that's where it all gets interesting at this point to me for some reason. Because also, you know, when I've gone and read the Constitution recently, 
including the Declaration of Independence. And tied back into this part again about the real estate that they and the, and the issues that they were talking about that it's linked to. I was thinking about you know that in the um, articles of the Constitution, you know that's where they start to clarify you know um, how this voting thing is going to go, meaning you know um, according to the color of your skin, you know how how much of a person are you worth, you know, and then there's a percentage of the number of the states of the, of that state, right, who's voting eligible. And that's who really elects the government, which means that how much and you could vote according to property ownership, right, which and also patents and and uh, copyrights. That, that was all relevant, which all gets connected to the Library of Congress, which then gets to the issue about secrecy and oaths, right? Like, it, is that really bad all the time, you know? Anyway, it's an issue. It's so that, I guess I've said enough. But this thing about the other thing I found out just go back about land. Who owns the land? I think we all know what I was saying so far. But you know what I found recently, like within the last year on internet radio, and I I don't know why I never thought that this was would be an issue, but now it makes sense. The issue of haunted houses or haunted spaces and real estate value. Let's let's hold on to that thought, Sister Sarah. Let's hold on to that thought. I got Dave Kelso. He's got, you know, that, that's something we should do for the Halloween show on, on, on Thursday. So we should, we, should do a, we should do a whole thing on haunted real estate because I, I tell you, in Minnesota, uh, there's an area called Summit Avenue in, uh, in, in St. Paul. Every, damn, every dang uh, uh, mansion on there has some sort of uh, history behind it as far as it being haunted. Uh, so I'm going to bring uh, Kelso on here. Dave, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks. I'm on with Katarina Edwards. Outstanding. Hello. And I, you're you're, you're uh, giving me a little bit of feedback, Dave. Yeah, no, no, no. The noise, the, noise you, the, the noise you hear is the frogs. Katarina oh. is the frog. <laughs> no, the noise you hear is the frogs. All right. All right. Got They're it. Called well, welcome, frogs. welcome, Katarina, to our show, 32 Degrees of Insanity. It's a pleasure. Hey, tell us Thank a, you. Tell us, a, tell us a little bit about yourself. Me, myself? Yeah. All right. Um, I've been a woofer out in Hawaii uh, since oh, you're the a woofer. of May. You're a woofer? Yes, I am. Uh, one, of, one of my very close friends is a woofer. He's actually up in Oregon right now on an organic farm. Yeah, that's where I'm from originally. So. Oh, what part? What it's part of Oregon? Place. Portland. Portland, Oregon, are you? Oh, you're from Portland. I lived in Eugene for many years. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I like it there. So, yeah, I'm out in Hawaii, and I am an artist as well, so I've been using this time to really work on my artwork, and um, it's been a really crucial point in my life as well, and just kind of working with my internal process, too. Uh So it's been a really great place for me. And I've been meeting a lot of really wonderful people who have been really helping me along. And I'm getting ready to go on this week-long intensive retreat next week. And it should be a cool experience. It's at the sanctuary that I was staying at. Um, The farm that I was at is actually more so a sanctuary. Uh, We were doing a wolfing trade program, but it was also... A place also where I could do really deep inquiry and be working through a lot of emotional issues and, you know, metaphysical issues, so to speak. So it's been a really, really amazing experience. And I think just the the practice of working with the land and getting back to the earth and working with sustainability and all of these wonderful things that are really needed right now has been... And the, and the frogs. And the frogs. That's a different city. I hear my code. Well, the question is, uh, are you actually licking the frogs? Because that's what we talk about on our show, Free Frequency Radio, uh, Fridays and Saturdays. I'm sorry. There's these poisonous, actually, there's these poisonous frogs here that the dogs will lick and they will die. Oh, yeah, so they don't lick. No, No, but... um, It's pretty... No yellow snow, no frogs. Both are bad. Well, I was just going to tell you, though, 
um, as far as those metaphysical experiences, one thing that can help a whole lot with um, processing those is uh, psychedelics and other entheogens. Have you ever uh, used anything like that? I myself have not. I haven't actually had, like, right place, right time, those kind of circumstances. For a while, I was actually extremely ill. So it's only been in the past year that I've been able to heal myself to actually be able to be doing things that um, are more physically demanding and that kind of stuff. Like, I had fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue all the time, but I don't have any of that anymore. And um, If you don't mind me asking, how did you heal yourself? How did I heal myself? Um, I worked with a naturopath who figured out that I had a lot of mineral deficiencies. And we were working with that, but I also was employing things like Reiki and really just shifting a lot of my internal stuff that I had internalized. And it was also a lot of dealing with past traumas. Like, I had a really traumatic childhood, um, as most people do, you know? (laughs) So, well, and a lot of people with fibromyalgia. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, the fibromyalgia actually healed um, pretty completely, pretty quickly when I started looking at some of those past traumas and really being open to forgiving people. I don't want to sound trite or anything, but like real forgiveness, you know, not, oh, okay, I forgive that person, but forgiveness that you can kind of see where people are coming from and what was going on in their lives. I'm not going to really get too deep into that stuff. It's personal, but... Oh, no, that's um, fine. I, but but, but that's, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Real, real I, mean, I, can, I, mean, I can I can speak for the fact that Katerina has made awesome progress with her paradigm shifting. I mean... The stuff that, you know, has taken, you know, many of us, a lot of other people, like in in some cases, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years to shift, she's done in half a year. And it's just, she's such a fish in water with the the shifting because it's like she'll go through her processes. And again, I'm not going to get into personal details, so don't worry, Katarina. I'm going to be very general. I'm just really impressed and amazed by you, by what I'm seeing, and I'm giving an external perspective looking at you. Um, and that Basically, she'll, she'll go through these processes, and she'll just feel like, oh, my God, it's so much, and ah, and, you know, and she doesn't realize how amazingly graceful that she's actually navigating it in comparison to what most of us have, you know, have had to navigate it. And she's such a trooper, and everybody's just, you know, looking at her with their jaws dropped to the floor, like, oh, oh my God, how awesome. And and she's like, what? I just went through freaking hell, and everyone's looking at me like I just parted the Red Sea, you know. And she's just not realizing in that moment how awesome what she's doing is and just how much progress she makes so quickly and what she manifests so quickly and just all the amazing things that she's overcome and done in her life. And then I point it out in hindsight and then I tell her some stuff I've been through and compare it to that. And then she's all, she's like, oh, my God, I am making fast progress, aren't I? So, I mean, she just, she's an inspiration. That's why I wanted her on here. She's absolutely an inspiration. She, She's helped me yeah. a lot of things. She's Are you in in uh, the Big Island, like by Hilo? I am actually. I'm in Pahoa. It's right outside of Hilo. Right. And uh, what uh, um, what uh, little facility are you at? The um, is that the David Wolf? Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the place. Um, um, the the little retreat area. What is that called? I'm not sure, but um, I'm actually here in Pahoa with a friend for a while because I finished my working experience two weeks ago, and then I'm going back there for the retreat, and it's on South Point Road. It's on at the very south tip of the island, actually. 
Yeah. So it's in a city called Matlehu. The sanctuary yeah. is called Kipukamalahia. And um, the woman's name who I'm staying with is, her name is Rashani. So it's, it's a really cool place. Kind of the land sort of draws you to it. Have you place. ever... Have you ever heard her mention a gentleman named David Wolf? Yeah, I've heard of David Wolf. Right. He's really into psychedelics, right? Well, he's into uh more into natural foods and cacao and and healing yourself yeah, and yeah. going through self realization. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually uh, at that retreat you're talking about, I actually met David Wolf there five years ago now. So it's oh, wow. fantastic at 19. Not a lot of 19-year-olds go through the process of self-realization and overcome their challenges. I, I kind of feel like I've been dealt a pretty interesting load at this point in my life. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well, Katarina oh. definitely helped me clear a lot of things too and she's she's got a lot of wisdom. Hey, Katarina? Yeah? Would it be okay um, if maybe um, Jay Larson uh, gives his perspective on you? I think he's lurking around here someplace. Um, Jay, are you still here? Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> I thought I, I thought uh, I saw your head poking out behind that rock. <laughs> no, it was from under the rock. I was, I was trying to look for the gold. <laughs> you find it in unusual places. Katarina has a heart of gold. Does that count? Mm, oh, definitely. Um, oh, yeah, you're um, flattering me. <laughs> uh, the acceleration these children are doing are tremendous. Uh, I've been I've been basically studying occult science since uh, about 1970, and before that, even at even as a kid back in the 60s, I started out with Harold Sherman's uh, book, uh, ESP, make, um, and that's back when they didn't have too many books on this stuff. And but the dinosaurs long time. were running around, weren't they? Oh, well, that's what I was looking for as a paleontologist to uh, <laughs> celebrate uh, our favorite person's uh, birthday today. <laughs> You know, he, he, he'd become one of us, one of the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Jay remembers logging into the Internet with real logs, cutting that wood, fighting off the T-Rex, riding the brontosaurus to school. You know, he's, he's been around. So well, tell well, us your perspective on Katarina. Uh, yeah, she, uh, she gets concepts very easily, uh, and she's a lot more open than the pig-headedness that we had in our early ages because it's not so much as egocentric as we we were. We were taught more uh, uh, basically you're nothing unless you're in relation to society and stuff and things that um, all these programs they put on us with the ego and stuff and she just seems to whiz right past that stuff and decides on something and just does you know it's just that simple why we're worrying about what other people are thinking of us and everything else uh even if it's a small thing you know it's hard to change as an older person uh because we have all these We've been put in line by people around us saying, oh, that's crazy and all that. And um, these young kids, especially Katarina. Are your depends on too tight or something? You're having trouble changing. I'm I'm just playing. You know, I don't know if Cherie can add to this, but... One thing that I've experienced in my existence when you try to find your own self-realization that at a younger age, it is very unfortunate that you find people that are very much into manipulating 
individuals and getting caught up in the selfishness of trying to find an attractive young woman and say, yes, I'd like to show you the way. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So in your quest, Catalina, I strongly suggest that if you are looking for a teacher or a guru, that you let them be that and never get caught up in the fake gurus or teachers that are actually manipulating and wanting to cross the boundaries of being a teacher or a guru. Yeah, that's what I've really appreciated about the Wolfing Coast that I've had is, I mean, she's very well educated in everything, but she just presents herself as a farmer, you know. She doesn't try to put herself above anybody, and she really just treats you like an equal, which is something that has really helped me over the past couple of months as well to step more into my sovereignty is to realize that she's not above me, and she continues to show me that she's not above me and is very open and transparent with her communications with me and is, like, just honest about her feelings and doesn't have these spiritual elitist airs about her either. So and I always, I always tell Katerina, align with herself and her sovereignty because she is her own authority. She's not better or worse than anyone else and that she aligns with herself, then that's, you know, that's the best way to go. Doors open up because then you're not living in anyone exactly. else's shadow. Her shadow. Exactly. And, I mean, growing up in a Catholic paradigm, I mean, I was very turned off by the idea of somebody being above me because I knew from a very young age that, you know, that these people really didn't have much for me. Like, that the answers that I was getting it was coming from internal fears. It wasn't coming from school. It wasn't coming from religion. It wasn't coming from my parents. It wasn't coming from society. And everything I was seeing around me was just wrong. <laughs> like, it just felt so wrong. And that's where, I mean, I started studying metaphysics when I was 11. Like, I started being interested in auras and all that stuff. But because I needed more answers than what I was getting and just being curious about the internal world as well and how perceptions really determine what we see and, you know, these filters that we have. See, so, I, told you, I told you she was wise. She is. <laughs> She's very wise. I, have you ever looked up your birth chart? Yeah, I have. I actually got a birth chart reading like two weeks ago. Oh. It's really awesome. I went to yeah. parochial school. That was a nightmare. I've never seen it, it more unchristian people than in Christian parochial school. It's almost like it's 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 like it's like Hitler uh, running an anti-racism rally. It's just ugh. I went to all private Christian schools as well. So it's, it's difficult. <laughs> what, what was this question about birth charts though? Yeah, um You're just curious. Did you well did you like did you read anything in there about yourself that is just crazy coincidental that it would say that and then it, it, like came true because mine said that I would get at risk of getting um, attacked by an animal and I was bit by a huge German shepherd. It was a retired whoa. police dog when I was in. Yeah, and I was like, whoa, that's in my birth chart. That's crazy. Um, did you read any, come across she anything like that? She didn't come across anything crazy like that. I mean, I was an hour reading with her. But mainly the gist of it was talking to me about, you know, like how it's in my chart that I'm supposed to be traveling. I'm supposed to be, like, talking with people, like, sort of like yourselves right now, with people who have all this influence for changing people towards a better paradigm, you know? Like, so that's wow. in my chart. Like, this it's whole awesome. shift. Katarina, awesome. you, know, Katarina you, ne you never told me that. That was two weeks ago? Yeah, that was two weeks ago. Um, because I, I found it, too. Wow, because I've been I've been telling you that same thing for our whole friendship, and I don't know anything about charts. Yeah, so I can send it to you, Dave. Actually, if you want to listen to it, it's really interesting. Talking no, about, I mean, cool. I have this like this Aquarius moon to me, who I mean, that's really interested in all of these new technologies coming out and really spreading the word about, you know, 
like new stuff for the planet and just kind of moving people into these new awarenesses that are so life changing. So I feel I feel this drive to help inspire and motivate people as well. I mean that's that's what gets me going. That's wonderful. I mean, and you know, once you, I, I really think you should do DMT. I'm just gonna put it out there. Everybody should do DMT once if they have that perspective that she just said. You should do DMT because it will prove to you beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is something much bigger and better beyond this plane of existence. And not only that, that you are infinite. You are everything and also part of everything and everybody I'm else is gonna, part of that everything. I have a question I have a question about DMT yes um, I've kind of like I guess you could say I've had some reservations about it because um, you know I know it's serious I know it does what it does and I know it like really opens you up and I just like don't want to do that before I'm ready so it's like how do I know I'm ready? I mean, I know that Illinois bundle flower contains DMT and, you know, there's things that contain DMT and, you know, Jay knows how to prepare it safely and all that. So, I mean, I, as far as like my physical body, I know how to do it safely, but I mean, as far as uh, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, it's like, you know, how do you know you're ready to venture into that sort of an experience? Well, the physical is, is 50%. <laughs> And then the mental is the other 50. And if you can get to the point where you can actually sit down with it in front of you, completely relax, you know, make sure you're loosey-goosey, you know, put put on some really loose-fitting clothes. And if you can get to the point where you can sit down and look at it and not have your heart about to jump out of your chest, then you're ready. If you're if you get to the point where you really feel like you can put away anything that you are even thinking about, don't think about anything, and just let it come to you, then you're ready. I have a little different take on it. Um, it's like skydiving. You know, if you think about it too much, then if you read the disclaimer paper that you sign before you jump out of an airplane that says basically if you die that they're not responsible, you're you're gonna chicken out. You've just got to do it. You've just got to just jump in head first, and that's it. And just understand that this compound, this molecule, the spirit molecule, it can't hurt you. Not at all. You can't overdose. You can't have anything wrong with you. That's smoking it. If you drink it and you eat the wrong foods, if you don't follow the diet, things like that, then yes, you could have some adverse effects. But as far as smoking it, just jump head in. There's nothing absolutely that can happen wrong. Nothing at all. You can do it. By the time you if you freak it. out, by the time you freak out, you're, already, you're back. already back. You know, you can't get up and go running off a roof or anything like that. Although I do recommend that you have somebody with you that's not doing it so they can monitor everything. But um I've never heard of a bad situation with DMT. Was somebody else trying to say something? I said you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Katarina, am I hearing dogs on your end? Yep, you are. We got dogs and frogs. I hope the dogs ain't licking the frogs. <laughs> or I hope the dogs aren't. Uh, no, I won't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um. <laughs> I'm definitely oh, curious about DMT for sure. Are you maybe enjoying we saw, yourself? Maybe we, maybe we, you, know, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should all do a DMT radio show. <laughs> Everybody takes DMT, <laughs> and we all get on the radio, and we all just tell and, and, and just start talking. Talking about what we're <laughs> Well, actually, Anthony Peek yeah. asked us to videotape our next experience and send it to him. So he can do research on his book and put our experience in his book. The thing about it is it, it's really yeah. um, traumatic for the mind. So when you come back, your brain like does something to try to keep you from remembering that experience. Right. So the only way you can really remember it is to write it down afterwards. Well, if, I ever, if I ever finish my master's, it's like 
pharmacology. I tell you one thing I'm going to do is an experiment with DMT. That is that is definitely going to be in, in my thesis. It's, I think that that I think I, the, 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 the consciousness is Katarina? Yeah. Yeah, I have a question for you, Katarina. One the one thing that's been a big huge uh, thing on on Donnie's show is you know obviously within all this 2012 stuff uh, to put it simply there's you know two two basic timelines that either of us could shoot ourselves down positive and and negative and you know some of us are going one way some of us are going the other um what would it you suggest for people listening to Donnie's show, and Jay, you're in a whirlwind again. I, uh, you're interfering with the line there. I hear the whirlwind noise. I recognize it well. Um, what would what would you suggest as, as far as you know, people keeping more focused on that positive timeline and having the experiences that you're experiencing rather than all this doom and gloom and psyop and fear porn sucking bullshit that so many people get locked into that, yeah, they could make that their reality if they, they hook into it and go down that other timeline, God help them. What would you suggest as far as them, you know, just working it out towards the positive timeline and not getting getting hooked into these, um, you know, profit of doom sort of traps that you know, or just laid out all over the Internet? What would what would you suggest, Katerina? Inquiry. Number one, I would suggest inquiry. Questioning yourself, like questioning what you're believing has been, or questioning what I'm believing has been the most important thing, I think, so far. Um, that and just getting back to the present moment, it sounds very trite, I, I know, to just be present. Like, I, I remember so many times where I, I would want to kill you, Dave, because you were telling me, <laughs> just, 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 just relax, go with the flow, blah, 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 you know, all this other spiritual shit. And I, I, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to really question those thoughts, like question those fears, because beyond that, you're going to find this unshatterable presence that really is the truth of who you are. And that's unshakable, that's unmovable. Like, there could be, you know, cyclones around you, but if you are connected to that, that is all that matters. So that is really what has helped me keep getting back to this quote-unquote positive timeline. I don't really think about it in terms of positive and negative. It's just I'm thinking about it in terms of, you know, just, like, what is what's real for me right now. Katarina? Can you clarify? The, can you clarify the difference between that and the New Age trap? Because there's a New Age trap that says, "Shun the dark, love and light." Shun oh, the dark. I hate that stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Stuff. I mean, I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with love and light when you know what it is. But yeah. the, the, the new, oh. the New Age, the New Age wants you to shun the dark and go off into complacency. And like you ran into this one lady that one time that. Oh, I'm ascending. I'm vibrating. You her a little alcoholic like meth head. head. Meth head and yeah. alcohol, and yeah, she's vibrating all right, straight into rehab. But so, what would you recommend for people to discern the difference between this new age bullshit and the real deal? The real deal is like when you can have this intense cry, you can have this yell. You can have this scream that just comes from your heart that just is, like, powerful. And you can feel that peace that comes afterwards, you know, that silence, that, you know, that clarity that isn't a force. You don't have to think positive thoughts to get to this place because this is your natural state. It's not this place you have to think happy, positive thoughts to, you know, attract to you, whatever crap that's going on around there. I mean, this is the state that is beyond the emotions and the mind and all of that stuff. I mean, this is the eternal presence that we are, and that is what you need to connect to in order to navigate this really windy path because the more you can bring your mind back to just the awareness with which you are doing things, like that's where the woofing has really come in handy because it always has to bring you back to the moment when you're doing things that are really physically demanding, you know? 
like moving dirt, shoveling, like digging trenches, pickaxing, pulling weeds. It all just brings me back to this moment, this, this awareness with which you are doing all of it. So wow. that is what I find to be the most important. Hey, Katarina. Um, yeah? if, I, if I may, I, I would also like to mention just to kind of give um, some shameless plugs for your stuff here. Um, if people do a search for for Katarina Edwards on YouTube, um, you'll find video from her and I in Chicago. You'll find her music. You'll find her woofing videos. You'll you'll find her art. You'll find a lot of stuff. If you go to cat if you go to HTTP colon slash Katarina Edwards dot deviantart dot com, you'll find her deviantart profile. And if you search, yeah, 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 that's what I was about to get to next. And if you search Katarina Edwards on Facebook you'll find her Facebook page. So I just wanted to kind of let people know um, she does painting, she does drawing, um, she sings, she does she does music, she does videos, she's really getting into all this poetry, and she runs Ubuntu Linux. I installed it on her laptop myself. Her laptop's pretty <laughs> kick-ass, by the way. Dual processor. I love her laptop. You're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> But the oh, laptop anyway, sounds anyway. like a jet plane. Just <laughs> a second, Dave, a second. Um, what I was going to say was, I mean, I've been really, if anybody's curious about my process that I've been navigating the past, you know, the year and a half, really, that I've been focused on this, I mean, a lot of my writings that I've done talk more about what I'm, what I'm explaining. So that is on my Facebook art page. And if anybody's curious, I mean, I'd be happy to talk with anyone who is struggling with New Age bullshit and needs some clarity. Because <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I've been there. I mean, I've been there. I mean, the first step I was making in my recovery from being so mm-hmm. ill, I mean, that was the first thing I saw that was not Catholic, you know? And it took more discernment and more navigating to realize that, wow, this doesn't feel good either. So... Katarina, you put ador- <laughs> you put adorableness and wisdom in the same package. Uh, thank you, David. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. You've been an awesome friend. Anybody who has you as a friend is damn lucky. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else have any questions for the the guru master here? No, I'm not a guru. I'm not. Don't trust me. I'm not. Still I'm not. I'm being playful. Oh, I yeah. I know. I know. Anybody want to bring anything else up, though? Questions, comments? Uh, actually, actually, guys, what I need to do, um, I, uh, there's a caller that called in a little earlier. He had a uh, question that uh, he's been trying to get back on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring oh. him on real quick because we've got about 20 minutes cool. left of the show here. So I'm going to bring him on real quick here. I'm just going to mute because the the the, uh, the froggies. I can hear them. Bloop bloop bloop. Four six nine. Welcome to the show. Texas again. You there? Hello, Bueller. Bueller. All right. I guess not. So actually, I'm going to bring uh, Davy there. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. I. There's a the. the those frogs are really, really loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many frogs are Can't there? Can't They're uh, all Is there like the a trees. full aquarium they are there? everywhere. Oh, there are the no, trees. No, it's just coping frogs. They're tree frogs. They're found in nature. They're everywhere, like, like crickets. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here in the, the crickets are, are very, very loud. Uh, well, why don't we do this, guys? Um, as my birthday approaches here, I'm going to kind of close down. I'm going to close down the show a little early tonight. I wanted to do that. Uh, what do we got going on for Truth Frequency uh, come the end of the uh, end of this week, uh, Chris and Tree? Oh, we've got a lot going on. Alfred Weber will be joining us on Friday, of course. Hopefully, you'll be joining us as well Saturday. We've got a special surprise coming up, and um, much, much more. So you just have to tune in and just find out. TruthFrequencyRadio.com, of course. Fantastic, and I'll, and I'll I'll join you for that show with Alfred on uh, on Friday as well. I'll look forward. That would be to that. great. First hour, we all we actually have. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh no problem. I, I was just gonna. I, I was asking Donnie if I could ask him. 
hang on. Uh, Donnie, hang on. I, what, what now? Yep. Somebody said in the chat. I just wanted to ask you a question, Donnie. Um, sure. I was wondering what, what your perspective was on... Oh, hey, Donnie, what do you think about... I, I was wondering what your perspective is. Oh, hey, is. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, this is weird. <laughs> um, uh, there might anyway, be some kind of delay or something, or maybe manners just completely just blew out the window or something. I don't know what happened. Yeah, weird. It's like we're, like, desynchronized or something. It's weird. Um, but, yeah, I'm just wondering what Donnie's perspective is on... Well, everything, what's really uh, weird is you keep every, everything, everything Santorino I, you know, we've was got, saying got a in relation going here, and whoa. you keep jumping in. Right, exactly. Uh, okay, hold on a second here. What, what just happened there? <laughs> I just like uh, I heard somebody asking me a question, and you were asking me a question, Chris, and we were trying to we were trying. What was what was going on there? My my brain just went completely blank. <laughs> I, I understand where Dave, Dave was trying to ask me a question, and, and but we were trying to finish up with what's happening with you on uh, Friday uh, with Alfred Weber on the show, uh, Chris. Gio, are we there? Wow. Everybody hung up. Amazing. Whoa, that was uh, quite interesting right there. It seemed like the whole everybody in the puzzle. Oh, I'm hung up. here. Are you there? Oh, okay. All right, so Jay, Jay's there. Everybody else uh, seems like they hung up on me. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to just kind of close it up here. Uh, Jay, what do you think got, you got going on? What's going on with you, brother? Well, I, right now I can't hear what you're saying. There's some sort of interference. Really? There's interference on my end or on your end? I can hear you loud and clear, Donnie. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't. I don't know what's happening with the end of this show. This, this it almost seemed like it went into into uh, major chaos there, and there was like a little some sort of uh, fight between Geo and and I, I, what was happening there, Kevin. I was. Uh, um, it seemed I, I like they, It seemed like there was just a lot of a lot of over talk on each other that it just wasn't coming out clear. Yeah, Chris was in the middle of talking about what was going on with his show, and then uh, that other gentleman started talking over him before he was able to finish what he was saying. Oh, okay. Well, all we know, guys, if you guys tune in, I'll, I will be joining uh, Chris Gio and Alfred uh, and Cherie on the show on Friday. Uh, so join us on truthfrequencyradio.com. Uh, on Friday, of course, we start at 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time going all the way to midnight. You can also check out my Facebook page. We'll always have that as well. Remember to tune in to Wednesday night show as well. Uh, Wednesday night, uh, we are – I'm in the process. I'm, I might have Laura on the – on the uh, Laura Eisenhower on the show on Wednesday. Uh, I just shot her off an email. She wanted to come on in August, but uh, we'll see what happens. If not, I might – because I've got I've got a, a date tomorrow night, dinner date tomorrow night, uh, Kevin, with uh, this new girl that I've been hanging out with for my birthday. So I'm gonna uh, maybe I I might have uh, I might uh, I might play a replay on Wednesday night. We'll see what happens. And then remember on Saturday night, Truth Frequency Radio uh, for special edition 32 degrees. I will be having uh, Sandra Sabatini of the Pythagoras Conference. Sandra will be joining me uh, on the show on Saturday. So I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. I'm sorry about the, the last few minutes there of the show, guys. You know, I, I kind of just want to take it off a little bit here early. It is my birthday here in 15 minutes. Uh, thank you all for visiting my Facebook page and leaving me wonderful birthday messages and all of you that are in the, uh, the uh, uh, what's it called, in the uh, – uh, chat room tonight. Thanks a lot for joining us. My voice is about ready to go shot. Toto wants to go outside. He's kind of circling around me. Uh, so we've kind of been going off nonstop. Very few breaks uh, in commercials. That I want to thank Chris Gio and Sharif for joining me uh, this, this evening for my show. I want to thank Kelso and Katarina for coming in at the end there. Uh, she's interesting, uh, even though the frogs were very, very loud. Uh, but uh, and I want to thank all of you guys. You know, thanks all for the great birthday wishes. 
I'll be an old man the next time you hear me. So uh, it'll be uh, it will be uh, I'll be the big four three. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Leo. Yeah, I'm a Leo, but you got to remember, I'm on the cusp of Virgo, guys. Uh, so I've got the Leo ego with the Virgo temperament. <laughs> with that being said, guys, God bless you. Hang in there. Uh, remember, uh, you know, life's like a life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And you know, we kind of the underlying message of the whole show tonight was basically, uh, you know. Just remember your own. Just remember, you are the one that can save yourself, and you are the one that's responsible for your well-being and your consciousness. 